I am a member of the faithful remnant church of these end times. Is such the fast that I choose, a day for a man to humble himself? Is it to bow down his head like a rush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will you call this a fast and a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free? and to break every yoke is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover him and not to hide yourself from your own flesh then shall your light break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up speedily your righteousness shall go before you the glory of the lord shall be your rear guard then you shall call and the lord will answer you shall cry and he will say here i am if you take away from the midst of you the yoke the pointing of the finger and speaking wickedness if you pour yourself out for the hungry and satisfy the desire of the afflicted then shall your light rise in the darkness and your gloom be as the noonday and the lord will guide you continually and satisfy your desire with good things and make your bones strong and you shall be like a watered garden like a spring of water whose waters fail not and your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt you shall raise up the foundations of many generations you shall be called the repairer of the breach the restorer of streets to dwell in the blessed virgin mary spoke to the two witnesses of these end times petrus romanus and mary romanus and these messages are shared in the testimony of the two witnesses on the 23rd of february 2016 the blessed virgin mary said and i quote her words i am our lady queen of all hearts and i come to my true children this day overflowing with an abundance of graces blessings gifts and favors from the hand of god the almighty and eternal father in heaven for it is his will that my true children his true children receive more my true faithful remnant have an abundance of gifts to share with those who walk in the darkness and how can they share these gifts but by testifying to the nations of the glory of the most high true god by testifying to the nations all of his wonderful works that he does in the midst of them because his true faithful remnant church is protected under my mantle of protection and with the holy angels watching and standing guard over all of them they have nothing to fear o oh, my blessed children won't you come forward and be blessed even more so some of you are choosing to bury your gifts and the light of jesus christ the lord my son you are burying your talents because you say in your hearts that what jesus demands of you is too hard but you are mistaken what he demands is rightfully his and this means that you have every strength to give otherwise he would not ask how can you receive the testimony of jesus and not desire to bear witness to the truth in his word why would you want to conceal and keep to yourselves the fruits and the blessings of his testimony why would you want to feed yourselves while others go hungry There is no excuse to stop making video testimonies once you have become a member of the faithful remnant. It is in this time that the Lord Jesus Christ is using the gift of technology to spread his testimony, my testimony and our testimony to the four corners of the earth. Would you not want to be a part of the spreading of the kingdom of heaven? No my children that the more you give the more you will receive from the hand of God the almighty and eternal father in heaven I am not speaking of monetary gain 
No, I am speaking of the graces that are so many that the whole world could not possibly be filled with them. There are so many graces from heaven, but only a small few are asking for them on a daily basis. Won't you ask for the grace to be able to share more of yourselves with my son? Won't you ask for the grace to testify to the nations of his goodness and his mercy on your souls? The world has forsaken him, but you are his faithful remnant. Where is your faithfulness? Where is your desire to share the truth with the nations? Through testimony videos, that is how you can spread the kingdom of heaven the fastest. The scroll, the flying scroll, has gone around the world. The testimony has reached the four corners of the earth. But there is still more to be done. There is work to be done. Do you want to labor for the kingdom of heaven? Then you will do what my son asks. You will make testimony videos that are spiritually nourishing that will help bring more members into his body. For my true faithful remnant, you are the body of Jesus Christ the Lord on the earth and the gates of hell cannot and will not prevail against you. And so stand firm in your faith and in your devotion to my son's testimony and to his word. Be a beacon of light. Do not sit there idle and absorb the dark matter into your souls. Why are some of you so afflicted? Because you refuse to testify in the truth and you embrace the Protestant spirit. Now I will tell you something about that spirit and how it operates. You cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven protesting everything that your king is asking of you. You will lose the spirit of rebellion or you will simply be removed from among his remnant. It is not the rebellious remnant who will inherit the kingdom of heaven. Only his true remnant followers will. And all of you are known by the fruits you are choosing to produce. The message ends here. You can view other messages from Blessed Virgin Mary at the link posted below. Visit www.testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com to learn more truths.